Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I rehair ponies. Um, this can be used for dolls as well. Um, I'm going to show you the method that I use. Um, I know that there's at least one more method out there. I don't use it and I don't like it. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did this and how I gave her a tail. Um, okay, so I want to say I'm sorry for not uploading last week. Um, I was doing pretty good um, uploading. I thought, I mean, once a week, that's more than uh, I uh, did in the past. <laughs> uh, but uh, my video uh, would not edit on YouTube Editor and I don't think anybody would have wanted to watch a 16 minute video of me opening up stuff that I got from somebody. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, I wanted to say that this channel is going to be, um, I guess, random? It's not going to be all one thing because I have so many different hobbies and I don't know, it's just going to be stuff that I like to do and I just want to share it with people. Um, so yeah, also I'm trying my best to uh, get more used to talking in front of the camera. Um, <laughs> I guess it's kind of hard for me to talk out loud because I usually don't talk. I don't talk at all. I stay at home most all day <laughs> and I Outside of, you know, the internet, I don't have anybody to talk to besides my family. Um, so, I'm just, I'm just trying to get out of my comfort zone and I'm just, also, I'm just like so shocked that like a hundred people subscribe to me. Like, what? <laughs> I don't even, I don't even think I know that many people. I don't know. I'm just, I'm overjoyed. I'm trying not to like freak out and cry right now because I'm, uh, uh I get emotional. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going, anyways, anyways, I'm going to, um, while we're here like fidgeting with these zip ties, um, I'm going to show you how I rehair, uh, ponies. Also, as I said before, it can be used for other toys like dolls. Um, so yeah, here we go. Okay, so hopefully you can see everything down here. Um, I'm sorry that the lighting is really bad. I am still working on the lighting. Um, I think it's I think it's better <laughs> than what it usually is. Um, so yeah, first you need your victim. <laughs> uh, I have this pony. Come on, focus. I have this pony that I'm working on right now. I added glitter to her symbols. So I'm going to show you first how to tail. Okay, so you need scissors. Uh, yes, these are fabric scissors. Please don't um, get mad at me that I'm going to be using them on a the thread. <laughs> I can't find my regular scissors. Um, but you need heavy duty thread. I use uh, upholstery thread because it can break easily if you um, put too much hair uh, for the tail in. Okay, you need zip ties. You only need two zip ties per tail. Um, and this is called, I think it's called a T-pin. Sorry, my nails are still horrible. They probably always will be. <laughs> um, you need a T-pin. You need this, sorry, you need this for the head. You don't need this for the tail. Um, you also need this for the head, which is Q-tips, that's for glue, and here's glue, I use tacky glue. This is also for the head, I will get more into this after, and then, of course, you need a comb, uh, a comb. Oh, and hair, duh. <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to... Okay, you cut the you cut the thread um, enough to fold it over and then fit through the pony. So about a foot. That 
Okay, and for this pony, I'm going to be using um, Yellow Fever and Glow in the Dark White. Um, I'm pretty sure these are both from Dolly Hair. Um, I will put a link to their website down below. I usually use Dolly Hair and then Retro Dolls US. Um, they both have really good hair. The yellow, because that is the main color. I'm just using the uh, Glow in the Dark as an accent. Also, I'm going to be doing it as an accent on the head. Okay, so you need about. I'm, I'm really not sure how to tell you like how much you need because I guess it all depends on how thick you want the tail. Um, but you need to think that it's going to be like if you're getting this much hair, which on Dolly Hair, this is the My Little Pony. Um, it's specifically um, lengthed for My Little Pony. Um, but yeah. Okay, so you need to think that you're going to take half of this hair half of it and you're going to end up folding it in half so about that and then we have glow in the dark hair which I really wanted to use like color changing hair for these ponies um well I have more from this set that I'm using um I wanted to use color changing but I don't have any on hand so I'm not using it so I'm using about half white half of the white uh, compared to how much yellow that I picked snip okay so you take it hopefully you can see it I'm sorry if you can't um, there's this loop you take the loop and you take the tails And you pull the tails through the loop like that and then you take it up like so you make sure it's even on both sides well as even as you can get it I think the white's longer than the yellow and then you take your pony and you stick the thread through uh, the ponies <laughs> maybe oh here we go here we go also not needed but it is it uh, I would uh, recommend having some needle nose pliers to do that and then you pull it through and then see you have the loop here so you hold that loop and then you pull out the string and I'll be reusing this. So then you take a zip tie and then you go through the loops, tighten the zip tie, pull it all the way, and then you snip that off. So now I'm going to be using a second one to go around like this. And that is because if you only leave one, it'll end up going through the tail hole and she'll lose her tail. So we use this to secure that from happening. Snip. And then it's okay if it's loose up here because when you pull it, it'll end up putting it where it goes where it's supposed to go. Okay, so there we go. We have a tail, yay! And next with this is I would end up curling it. Um, I can show that in another video if anybody's interested. Um, I don't know. This is what I have. These curls that I did, I used um, a straw for these. And then I have these, which this one you just you wet it, uh, condition it, wash it, or wash it and then condition it, and then you wrap it around her leg and wait for it to dry, and then you have this little. Uh, so next, I'm going to show you how to um, 
do the hair on the head. So now I need to find her head. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, so finally after searching through a big box of <laughs> pony heads and bodies, I found her head. Um, yeah, so I have I have a whole box of ones that I'm going to end up re pairing because they don't have any hair. <laughs> Um, uh, minus a couple of them, but they are, um, cut or faded or just doesn't look good on them anymore, and I'm going to end up redoing them. Um, that's also something else I can show you is how to take the hair out of ponies or how I prep, um, what I, what, well, what I call baits. Um, that's when, you know, you make it different, you make it new, freshen it up. So, yeah, I can show you how I do that, how I prep. Um, baits also. Um, this isn't all going to be um, pony related. Uh, as I said, I do I do have like <laughs> I have a lot of hobbies and interests. Um, mostly revolve around toys. Uh, I also do stuff. I play video games. <laughs> like um, lately, I yes, I have been playing the heck out of Kingdom Hearts 3, and I absolutely love it, and I'm pretty sure I'm almost finished with the game. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyways, moving on, get a drink real fast. So, as I mentioned before, this is called a tea pin, and what you do is you stick it where you want to start. You stick it in the hole, this helps widen the hole so the needle can go through. So this right here is a tool that I use. Um, I don't know, maybe you can see that if it will focus. Okay, you see the needle? This is what you put the hair through. And then you punch it in. <laughs> I'm just, I guess I'm, I'm just a weird person and now I'm just rambling on, probably because I'm tired. Um, anyways, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up doing about one fourth of this yellow first, and then I'm going to do a stripe of white, and I'm going to do the rest of it yellow. And I'm sorry, I just noticed it was out of focus. Okay, so you take this much, snip, snip, and then this is how much I'm going to use for now. I will probably end up using more. So you take just what's good about this hair is that if you do this, usually I guess I did mention, uh, I forgot to mention, um, a spray bottle of water, um, is good for, um, help keeping the hair straight. And I'm not sure if I have mine with me. Oh, I do. Yay. So you want to spray the ends, but put like that. Okay, and then do this, and it separates it into these little strands, which is just the perfect amount to uh, rehair with. Unless you want it thicker, you can use like two of them, I guess. So you take one strand, and I loop it like this, and then I take the needle. And then I hold it like that, and then I, whoop, let's see, yep. Okay, you make sure that both of the tails of the hair meet, that way it's even. So then you pull out the tea pin, and then you stick the hair into the head like that, boom. See? I personally don't like the knot method. Um, it's useful, like, if you don't want to purchase one of the, um, a rehair tool. Um, like, I'm not 100% I am not 100% sure if the person that I bought this from still sells these, um, because I bought it about five years ago. Um, but if she does, I will link her Etsy shop down below. Um, last time I checked, I think her prices went up, but I mean, it comes with needles, it comes with a case, um, but yeah, I will actually link a 
couple of things down below. I'll link where I get the hair from and where I get needles from and where I get uh, where you can get repair tools from. So I'm just going to keep doing this and I'm going to stop the video and continue to do this until at least I get to the white stripe. So yeah. Okay, so I went ahead and finished uh, hairing, re-hairing uh, the pony. This is what it looks like. Okay, and next what you would want to do is you would take a Q-tip and then you would take glue. Glue, and you would take the Q-tip, dip it in glue, and then put it through the uh, hole. Uh, you would start at the top up here and then work your way all the way to the bottom uh, that way you make sure you get it all you just tap it in and yeah you leave it overnight and then you can uh, cut and style it after so yeah that is how you rehair my little pony or other toys <laughs> um so yeah that is all for this one. Um, I do still have these three that I did um, last week. I still have these for sale. Um, they are posted on my Instagram, which is uh, in the description below. I also have a Snapchat. I don't use it that often, but sometimes I do. Um, if you want to add me on there, um, that's also in the description below. So I am not sure what I'm going to be doing for my next video. Um, if you have any suggestions, uh, just leave a comment below. Um, if you liked this video, uh, subscribe, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> like it. Um, I would really appreciate it. It actually really makes my day. Um, I, I don't get out that much at all. So, like... Makes my day really. Um, but yeah, I'm getting nervous now. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.